an experience? I wasn't even the one uh, talking to people. And, you know, at that time, I just want to let this weight drop out of my shoulder. For some reason, I feel relieved. I feel relieved. There was so much pressure into that process. You know, and I was in Cameroon. I'm like, man, just live your life, you know, mm -hmm. whatever is yours out there will come to you. Like, But I get the, um, uh, the first person that reached out was Pete Mary from PFL. And then I was just like, yes, let's hear him out. And he came out, we speak, he asked like what I'm looking for and stuff. We speak, I'm like, ah, looks good. A couple of days after, he made a proposal. I look, I mean, I didn't even ask for not anything, but when he make a proposal, I look at the structure of that proposal. I'm like, this is good. You know, everything was ta being taken in consideration, you know. Obviously, there is always, there is always going to be a way of to negotiate in a contract, but the way that they structure it, I was already happy. I'm like, I think this guy is trying to make me happy. Yeah, right? well, they need someone like you. Yeah. The PFL doesn't really have the big stars. Yeah. So, but we keep that contract, and at that time, I'm like, let's wait. I'm not rushing to anything take some time and everything and then so you didn't sign we, that yet no i didn't sign no. we also get to a chatry even chatry reach out we talk same thing and then a couple of days <laughs> they send their own contract but when i was putting that contract next to the pfl one it was day and night the pfl was much better yeah okay in the and the pfl uh put a clause in to allow you to box yeah, yeah. No, no boxing was was first to me right and would the pfl be involved in the boxing promotion that was up to me okay that was up to me but they didn't really like want to it's not their expertise but if they can help in some way or be involved in some way again it's up to me okay. right so very independent contract so but i was more looking about like boxing that's the first time that i have to i started to have dialogue about boxing and stuff you know and i know there was some look. conversations with you fighting there was deontay wilder they talked about i think they talked about dillian white no, who, who he, he was he was deontay wilder we definitely we had a, a conversation with deontay wilder uh team even with him uh, I personally like was in the of, of, uh, meeting with him, conference with him, that we were talking about a potential to fight deal. Mm -hmm. So, and that was that was going well. And I think even to this day, we we are kind of like open about it. It's just uh, along the way he has the he has the potential opportunity right away that they say okay we, we had like to pursue the conversation about uh what we have here and he was for us he was understandable where i'm like okay then let's explore maybe after and then right after that i have my own we i started a conversation with um with um for the fury fight yeah because I get a call, I was drive, I was driving to, yeah, I was driving to the airport, and then I get a call to meet in New York for, for some conversation about the Fury fight, and then when I get in New York, um, next week, we schedule that on next week. I get in New York, we get to the room, I meet the people. It was the right people. We spoke. I I heard them. I hear them out. And I'm like, I, I knew them, right? And I'm like, okay, this is legit. I think with these people behind this fight is going to happen. That's where I now put them in contact with my team to negotiate because they wanted me to do everything. Let's 
negotiate less i'm like uh, i don't do negotiation I, I listen i talk about like how i would like things to go but i don't like to negotiate personally right like, oh i want this i deserve this i'm that you know i'd rather have somebody do that on my behalf right somebody do that on your behalf and you want to respond to a good deal you want a, a good, good deal, deal brought to you. Yeah. Okay. I want somebody. It's always good to have somebody in the mirror that would take the temper of both parties. Right. Because a deal can fall off just off because uh, somebody is mad and this. And then I'm like, his ego take over and the deal is off. Right. Right. But when there's somebody in, in between and you always come to like, okay, it's, it's not him. Right. and they still think about it and that's what's happened because sometime with my team there was they, they was frustrated and i'm like oh no this is not working and then they will come to you and then you will talk nice you know be a nice cop have no problem i'm like no but my team is saying this because right. of they didn't mean to offend you you know mm -hmm. but i think you know <laughs> got it frustrating right yeah i mean no no frustrating i mean complicated oh, yeah, but over the time, you learn, you understand how it works, and it's pretty easy. Okay. It's pretty easy. So you're in the driver's seat now because you've left the UFC. You have uh, all these opportunities on the table, possibly Deontay Wilder. Then it becomes Tyson Fury. So when do you know that that fight is actually going to take place? Because I know there was a lot. June. 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 That was in June. That was in June. We locked that fight. It was concluded. Everything was set. So for all those months from December to June, you're essentially just trying to find where you're going to land. Yeah, but before that, uh, I have um, I agree the deal with the PFL. I think it was in uh, in March, but uh, I made the request. I say, let just figure out what would be next. My next. Uh, boxing fight before we signed the deal. So you haven't signed the deal with the people? I haven't signed the deal. Is it possible? Let me ask you this. Okay. Is it possible that you go and fight Tyson Fury and then the UFC comes back to you and says, listen, let's make this right and let's fight John Jones? 